Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and today we're talking about Walther handguns. I own five of them, I decided to bring them all out today. Walther is a very respected manufacturer. So let's start with their flagship model, which is the PPQ. This is the M2 model, which means it has a push button magazine release opposed to the trigger guard magazine release, which is the M1 model, but it has a four inch barrel, a full pick rail, 15 round magazine, which I don't have 15 rounds loaded up, and a very nice shooter, known for its cross directional texturing on the grip, and an excellent trigger that breaks at 5.6 pounds. Let's take a few shots. Here we have a Walther CCP M2. They made some great improvements over the original CCP. It also has cross-directional texturing, very comfortable grip, a magazine that holds eight rounds. It is a single stack, and this is a gas-delayed blowback system, which creates softer shooting, very light recoil spring. It's a good handgun for people with hand or wrist injuries or older folks who have trouble charging the slide. A full pick rail, it does have a fixed barrel and a trigger that breaks at five and a half pounds. Also has a striker fire indicator. Nice single stack handgun and it's actually quite light as well. Here we have a Walther P22. 10 stack magazine, 22 long rifle, three and three quarters inch barrel, but check out that frame. It has a carbon fiber look to it. I've owned this for over 10 years now. It's been great for me. The newer ones are a little bit nicer because the disassemble is much easier with the newer ones, but it's a double action, single action, 22 long rifle. It does have a accessory rail there available for light laser or whatever. The magazine release is on the trigger guard. It's a nice little shooter. I've always enjoyed this since the very beginning. Walther P22 also has an ambidextrous thumb safety there. Nice little plinker. Here we have a Walther PPQ SC subcompact. Offers everything that the compact model has except for shorter. Three and a half inch barrel, very short grip, holds 10 rounds. But now they make magazines with grip extensions and more capacity. This will accept the larger mags. It also has a pick rail right there. Nice three dot sight system. That same very comfortable grip and that same 5.6 pound trigger that people love with the PPQ models. You know, you just settle into shooting these Walther handguns and they perform so nice, so smooth, and very accurate. This one, I believe, is my favorite of them all. A Walther Q5 match competition gun that has everything including that cross-directional texturing that is so comfortable the same 15 round magazines and the same 5.6 pound trigger pull and here's what you're looking at for the reset five inch barrel adjustable rear sight cut for an optic so it's optic ready a fiber optic front sight slide cuts to lighten it up a full pick rail a blue trigger, which is the way they branded the Q5 match, and, and just an all-around excellent competition handgun with that 5-inch barrel that makes it so accurate. It has everything that the other PPQs have with, with those additional features. Man, I love full-size handguns, and I really love and appreciate this Q5 match. Now, a lot of people love the steel frame. I love the steel frame. I don't own it. I own this Q5 match. That's why I'm bringing it out. And maybe one day I'll have that steel frame 
Q5 match and um, I would certainly enjoy that as well. So there they are, my five Walther handguns. Here we have the P22, the Q5 match, the CCP, PPQ subcompact, and the PPQ M2. I certainly enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want me to do this with other types of firearms, CZs, car arms, SIGs. You know, this was a lot of fun for me and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.